Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I am Brad and today I have a review of a bottle that I have been dying to get my hands on. I don't have the full bottle here, it's just a little sample bottle. But I am very, very, very excited to try Jack Daniels Single Barrel, Barrel Proof Rye. This bad boy comes in at 137.7 proof. Good lord, you can fuel a car with this thing. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my boy Cinna Bourbon, who hooked me up with this sample. Dude, thank you so much. You've got your Jack Daniels single malt and a few other things coming your way. Um, as the day I'm recording this is a Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. It'll be going out on Friday. Um, thank you again. This means a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a bottle I have been dying to get my hands on. You guys know I love Jack Daniels. They've been crushing with their special releases. Apparently, this one is going to be shelf stable the same way that Single Barrel Barrel Proof is. So, are they, they're like bourbon or Tennessee whiskey. People get upset when you call it bourbon. No, legally, the legal definition is a, that it's a bourbon. So, get off my back. Take it up with Jack Daniels. I don't care. Um, but this is supposed to be just as shelf available as the other stuff. So, I hope it gets to that because I haven't yet to see a bottle in person. Um, and I really, really, really want one, and I, I hope I, even, I want one still after trying it. So enough talking. Let's get this bad boy open and see if this is as good as I hope it's going to be. I'm only doing a little bit tonight because it's Wednesday. Oh, boy. The nose on this is – I'm going to pour a little more in there because I don't know if it's just because I poured such a little amount in there or what, but I don't really get an alcohol burn on the nose, which you would think with something being 137.7 proof, you would get that. But no, that nose is gorgeous. I spilled some of my hands here. You get that wood, that, that like rye spice. Even on the nose, the pepperiness. There's the orange peel. I mean, it kind of it's kind of a traditional e kind of rye nose to me. Now, I'm not the biggest rye person on the planet, but anything Jack Daniels does, I'm going to give it a try. But that nose is really, really nice. And I'm very surprised that you don't get an alcohol burn with it being 137.7 proof. That is nuts to me. Let's give it a mouthing and see if it tastes as good as it smells, because it really does smell nice. That. Whew. Man. I need to taste that again, because that even though I knew it was going to kick, it still kicks. You definitely feel that, man. Um, very oaky, to, to me at least. Very oaky. Rice, peppery rice spice, very peppery. And the most orange peel, like a bitter orange peel. Not like the, the, the lemon peels, or I'm sorry, orange peel zest. It's like if you like bit into an orange peel and had that bitter taste. It tastes like that. Um, however... In the last few I did, I said it was bitter and not good. This is bitter and very good. Um, this adds like a, a very unique flavor to, to that. Um, this one's hard to describe. I really, really like this one. Um, I still think the Jack Daniels 10 and the 12 are much better than this bottle, which that, that's a relief to me because I actually have those. Whew, so I don't have to like, I'm still going to want to buy this, but I'm not like as fervent about those two as I am this one, especially after trying it. But this is really, really, really solid. There is like a very light sweetness that I can't quite place what it is. Because it's not really brown sugary. But it's not, it's, I think it's, it's like a maple maybe. maple -y? There's a lot of barrel, barrel tannin on this one to me. I can't place that sweet flavor. I can't place that. Hmm. That is good. It is not my favorite thing I've had of the year. Uh, I don't think I would include this in my top 10 of the year. Um, it is very good, however. I would still really, really like to get a bottle of this. Um, but I still think the Jack 10 and the 12 are a little better in my personal opinion. Um, like I said, not a rye person. So if you're a rye person, this is probably like right up your alley. I could only imagine. So 
you don't, if you love it and I don't, that's okay. We can coexist. It's fine. Um, I do like this though a lot. I'm trying to feel what that sweetness is. One thing I can get is like a, um, like a salted caramel. I'm, that's what I'm going to say. It's a salted caramel. Um, that is really good. I hope I can find this. I, I hope I can find it for retail. Because if I don't get it at retail, I'm probably not going to buy it. Like, I'm not spending $200 on this bottle. Um, but I do really, really like that. Have you tried it? And do you like it? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. Please like and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube or TikTok, wherever you're watching this, like and subscribe. Uh, over on TikTok, we're very close to 10,000 followers on TikTok. So please share that. Um, on YouTube, we're not even close to like to a thousand. So <laughs> we got to get those YouTube numbers up guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one until then. Cheers.